yeah, it's definitely so much cooler. Like, on your feet, walking out of the water. Oh, feels like my feet are going to fall off. I need to get back in the water. Which is something I didn't think I'd be saying. And I've made a friend by the looks of it. Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back. Or should I say welcome to a new country? Okay, I'm actually in Turkey. Yeah, this breathtakingness is incredible. Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to Turkey. As you can tell, Camel Carly. It's like 7 o'clock in the morning. I was literally on my way to the South Gate, which I was told opens at half six. Not the case. What I read online must have been right. We're both open at 8 o'clock in the morning now, like it's winter. So, I'm heading back down towards the town. I'm going to try and find somewhere that might be able to do me coffee at this time in the morning. I doubt it. But then I'll just go in the main gate at 8 o'clock. Unless they tell me that it is open the other one, then I'll just walk back on myself. But yeah, quite confusing. I'm very early to get confused as well. By the way, it is absolutely freezing here. I've literally got like four layers and I think it's like five degrees or something like that. But it's all worthwhile when you see views like this. I mean, I wish I could be up there at the moment to catch sunrise, but I'm not going to be long after it, but check these views out. The air balloons are kind of like going up at the moment. Looks quite cool. Take a look. I mean, I might be wrong, but I swear I can actually see people up there, which would mean the other gate is open. But, yeah, it's quite cool. I'm going to try and get closer to these balloons, actually. I've got plenty of time. The only downside really to being up at this time walking around the streets is you are like the only person walking around on the streets all the stray dogs like this one that's about to come over to me come over and chase you but they usually come in packs Hello Hello Now he's following me Yeah, the other entrance must be open because there's definitely people up there already. Someone was like watching over as the hot air balloons were going up. But it's half seven now, heading to the north gate. Hopefully they let me in slightly early. I doubt it, but I'll just kind of wait there till eight o'clock if not. So I actually just went back to the hotel and changed my lenses out. I want some zoom lens on to try and get some decent photos of these uh, hot air balloons as they go on past. Now I'm finally Heading to the gate. Still a bit early, but we'll see what happens. Ryan Little. <laughs> So right on 8 o'clock, we are through. The guy just said you've got to take your shoes off up here, but yeah, these hot air balloons make this even better. Check this out.
absolutely surprisingly much warmer to walk in the water than it is on like just a flat surface. It feels so weird just with your shoes off on that stuff, but the water's amazing. I think we've caught this at the perfect time, there's hardly anyone here, there's quite a few people up towards there, they must have gone near the gate. But yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, it's definitely so much cooler, like, on your feet, walking out of the water. Oh, feels like my feet are going to fall off, I need to get back in the water. <laughs> Which is something I didn't think I'd be saying. And I've made a friend by the looks of it. definitely the nicest so far you can kind of see like the steam coming from it as you're like making your way up it seems to be like the higher you get up the warmer the water is because this one right here you could pretty much get a bath in it to be honest i think someone behind me just has as you can probably see behind me though the crowds have started to arrive i think like the tour buses are start arriving like around 9 10 in the morning so that is why it's best to get here as early as possible it's definitely worth the early morning wake up Starting to come this way now. <laughs> so the sun has now fully risen, as you'll be able to tell behind me. And the crowds have fully arrived, basically, all the tour buses arrive, and it gets really busy. Then I'm actually quite happy. I was going to originally, as I was saying before, go to the south gate, but I'm very happy that didn't happen and went through the north. Met a great guy from Czech Republic and we just kind of explored it all. Just had some coffee then, he's going for a swim in the pools, whereas I am going to check out the ancient ruins. But yeah, we managed to catch like the sunrise perfectly over the uh, pools, incredible. Some of them are cold in terms of the water and some of them are really, really warm, so everyone was kind of hanging around the warm ones but the actual floor itself when there's no water and is absolutely freezing on your feet. I've seen people say it's painful. I wouldn't go as that far as say it was painful. Only at the top really, but yeah, it was freezing. Anyway, gonna check out these ancient ruins. Looks quite stunning from where I am already. So a bit of walking uphill and then I will be there. So the entrance fee to here is 110 Turkish lira, which is 11 US dollars, around eight or nine pounds British. Definitely, definitely worth it. As I said, got the, seen the sunrise. I was quite lucky this time of year that we managed to catch it that way. Whereas in the summer anyway, it opens at half six, so you'll be able to catch it then. And now it's around, I think 10.15, 10.30. So still plenty of exploring to do. And I am getting closer to this amphitheater and it looks amazing. There's a lot of people up here, so there's big crowds already. I think it looks to be like an organized tour. But even like the ancient ruins here, check this out. What I was reading online is actually even more, I'll show you this first. Even more ancient ruins there. But what I was reading online before this became like a new UNESCO World Heritage Site. There was actually hotels built on here, that's why pretty much all this is in ruins. And then it was only when UNESCO made it a World Heritage Site, they had to actually knock down all the hotels, which I don't know why anyone would want to build hotels on here anyway, because it's stunning. But yeah, I think that's right anyway. Yeah. 
So that was the Hydropolis Amplitheatre. Hope I've got the pronunciation of that right. Stunning, stunning place. It just looks out onto like mountains and yeah, incredible. Don't actually know where I'm going right now. Could do with figuring that out. Probably just gonna have to go back the way I came. But yeah, definitely if you're ever coming to Turkey and you think about passing by this place, don't come and visit, even if it's for a day. Definitely, definitely worth it. Heading back down to the town now, gonna uh, get some coffee, get some food, and then, <laughs> I'll be honest, I might just go back to bed for an hour after that. So once you've seen this, it's not gonna be top today. So, a very, very quick history lesson about this whole place before I leave, and I am taking all this off Wikipedia, so if it is wrong, don't quote me on it. Go and quote Wikipedia on it, unless I misinterpret it. So, Pamukkale in Turkish means cotton castle, and then the actual terraces themselves are made of a rock called travertine. And basically, there's all 17, I believe, thermal springs like around here with hot water ranging from like 35 to 100 degrees. And that's obviously where the warm water comes from. So like the gel that's in some of the water in the pools themselves was calcium carbonate. And that's kind of the stuff that you get right at the bottom of it. But yeah, very, very quick, brief history lesson. Hopefully I read everything right on Wikipedia and gave it back to you guys. Yeah, this place is definitely getting busier as the day goes on. Even on last night when I got here at like five o'clock I noticed it was really busy. I'm still trying to find my way out though because I don't really fancy going back the way I came because you just have to take your shoes off and all that again. Don't want to put my feet through that. I think there is an exit this way but I'm not entirely sure. I think this is a dead end up here. I've literally just walked like 15 minutes this way. Yeah, it's a dead end. You can't even get out this way. <laughs> Thank you.